All right, hey, Hades Mega here, and welcome to another anime desktop show and tell. All right, on the Hades Omega channel, with Noella here from Drugstore in Another World. All right, so she's Noella is just like the most adorable freaking werewolf ever. Okay, <laughs> she's like the cutest werewolf ever, and I had to have a figure of her. Okay, um, so this is how I got her. Um, I ordered her from CD Japan and the total was 15,660 yen. That's about mm, somewhere around 120, 130 US dollars. And the shipping was 3,370 yen. That's about around 30 bucks. Um, I had her shipped EMS so I got her really fast and that was last year, this time last year. So I've had this figure for almost a year and I'm finally getting her out of the, the packaging, right? <laughs> I just want to say close to 150 bucks. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. So the reason I ordered her from CD Japan, I don't normally order figures from CD Japan. I usually order CDs from CD Japan. <laughs> and um, I had a bunch of uh, reward points that were going to expire. I like like 4,826 yen worth of... Uh, uh, reward points that I needed to to use or else they would have expired. That's about like $40. So I pretty much got the shipping for free. Uh, I looked on Amazon and you can probably you can get her for around $115. That's about how much I got her for. Okay, so that sounds about right. But you, she's on Amazon. I think it's probably in America where you would get her. So you wouldn't have to wait. But like I said, I got her EMS. I got her really fast. All right, so I can't can't complain all right but here we go do you get the most adorable cutest uh werewolf in anime history so i'm gonna say all right so let's get her out of this uh, plastic packaging thank you cd japan for putting extra packaging over the figure um they should always do that especially if it's a brand new figure you know they should always put some kind of protective plastic over the figure because they it could scuff the box up you want the box to get there in perfect condition because this is you know it's your anime waifu you know 3d waifu plastic 3d waifu you want it to be there in the best of shape okay yeah and she's perfect okay there she is out of the plastic packaging so like i mentioned i got her from cd japan for uh about 130 us dollars and uh like $30 shipping and I got like a 40 almost a $40 discount so so yeah about 120 110 damage to the wallet <laughs> she did to me okay but there she is isn't she so adorable so this is a Furyu Fnex uh, 17 scale figure of Noella I guess that's how you say Noella in Japanese this is in katakana okay no l uh <laughs> so um Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the box. Um, so, so the box is pretty big, guys, and it's a one-seven scale figure. It says right here, so um, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big figure. Noelle is a kind of small little werewolf girl. Okay, <laughs> so, so yeah, she's uh, she looks pretty big in there. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, so here it's uh, there's the uh, drugstore in another world. If you haven't watched this anime, I highly recommend it. It's very, uh, it's a very funny, comedic anime and also uh you know a, kind of a wholesome one <laughs> so i say okay very colorful and noelle is in it obviously so this is by furyu and all, more specifically their f next line all right furyu is more more known for uh what is it prize figures all right prize figure stuff okay it's got would it make a good box figure yeah it, ha it would make a good box figure because look at how big this window is man it's like a that's I would say that's close to eighty, even maybe like a ninety percent window in the front. So, and and it's it's got this kind of floral kind of pattern around it, and it's green. Okay, and then let's check out this side. You can see Noella in there. You could probably just take all that protective plasticking off, and she'll look great. All right, there's a picture of the actual figure. All right, Noella. I'm not sure if he's supposed to have two L's or one L in the name because in the on the email it's two L's. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know if they misspelled it or not. Believe it or not, some of these figure manufacturers misspell the names. All right, or just you know it's kind of sus like some of the spelling. Um, so yeah, it's got the same kind of greenish, yellowish background and this kind of floral pattern around it, and then a picture of Noella right here. Okay, and it says Noella down there. 
here's the back of the figure it's all the information back here it's in Japanese I can't really read it it says fnex.jp is their website it's a choking hazard for children under three it's made in China and it's for 15 and up all right I think it's a uh, PVC and ABS like most anime figures are there's a little um, there's a little sticker here I can't really read what it is says because it's in Japanese but it's got a little picture of Noella there so nice Okay, and then there's a picture of the actual um, drawing, the artwork of Noella that I guess that this one was uh, based off of, right? And it's that same kind of background with the flowers and the butterflies and stuff. Very cute. Very colorful, so I'll say. So, so that's the artwork and the actual figure right there. I think they did a pretty good job. We'll find out when we get her out of there. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's take a look at the top of the box top of the box has like a, f a flower cut out in it all right it says noella so that's nice it um it sheds some light into the box so you can have some light on your figure so you, you can see noella better all right and then there's the bottom is just green okay okay let's uh do the unboxing Okay, here's a here's a what's inside the box. I'll turn the light on here. It's a, like a kind of purple background with like flowers and crosses and stuff. I think that might have something to do with the anime and stuff. It's different shades of purple and pink and stuff. Okay. Okay, there she is, Noella from Drugstore from Another World. Um, so it was, um, man, there was a lot of plastic uh, protecting her as well, I'm going to say. Lots of plastic. They took a, a, lots of great care to make sure she didn't come to you scratched, all right? Well, now that she's not in transit, uh, hopefully we won't need any of that plastic stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, it does come with them some instructions. It's very easy to install, though. It's, it consists of the base. Um, the figure and then this uh, support stand in the back here okay because she's uh, she's got a lot a lot of hair although it's, not, it's that tail she's got she's got a huge tail she has this super fluffy tail and there it is <laughs> so I'll say yeah in the anime she she has a really fluffy tail that's what I'll say okay the base is ginormous it's literally almost the same size as my rotating base here all right there's two pegs that hold her foot into the base here, and they don't go very deep in there also, by the way. And and then there's that support thing for her tail, okay? So hopefully she won't she won't be drooping forward or backward, <laughs> okay? So um, pretty easy to install. I felt that I didn't really need the instructions, okay? Um, yeah, so um, there's a little holder thing here that you kind of turn sideways, and then it holds up her tail. Okay, so um, let's do a quick 360, and I'm going to take a closer look at her, and then we'll begin the scrutinization process, all right? But I like what I see already. We'll see if we can find anything wrong with it. Oh, okay. See you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back. So uh, I've looked her over, and man, she is like pretty much near perfect. All right, there is a. Um, we'll talk about some of the stuff about the paint and stuff. The paint is like it's very good. All right, it's very good, but you know, stuff. I'll talk about it. <laughs> all right. Um, 
Yeah, so I, I, I believe I have other FNEX figures. The four you FNEX figures. Um, I don't remember what figures I have that were that, though. Um, maybe I'll put a subtitle below what, which ones they were. Um, but we'll take a look at this one, and I'll let you know how it is, all right? <laughs> so let's take a look at... We'll start at the base, and then we'll work our way out like we usually do. Okay, so the base is ginormous, man. It's got to be bigger than six inches base, all right? It's got this uh, blue, kind of clear blue and light blue checker pattern on it. Pretty nice. It's already kind of got some dust on it, but that's probably my fault. There is a nub mark here. All right, is it flat? Yeah, it's flat. Good, good job. <laughs> He's big has been getting figures that with not flat bases. Okay, even scale figures, if you can believe it. Okay, looks good. Nice base. A little, a little, a little more flashier than you know, just a plain white or black base. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at her foot. Um, she's got one foot touching the ground. Uh, yeah, so now I I think uh, I feel that uh, the this support should be necessary because she's only got one foot up, and this this figure has a lot a lot of plastic. When I took her out of the packaging, I was like, wow, she's got some weight to her. So you definitely want to have this on here if you're going to display her. Okay. Um, yeah. So like I mentioned, there's two pegs holding her foot. But uh, this it's this little plastic boot holding her boot up, all right, and then it doesn't go very far into the base, also, by the way. So, yeah, but you, there's so much plastic and weight in the back that yeah, you're gonna want this, okay. But anyway, there, let's take a look at her her boot, her foot. First, um, it is a kind of like a purpley gray color, all right. The the tips and the side are gray, and the heel is gray, okay. Very nicely painted. Um, the paint on this figure is all matte finish. All right, guys. No, not a lot of shiny stuff on this figure, which is it's okay. Um, in my opinion, it, you should stick with one. <laughs> stick with one, unless you know there is a reason that you needed like glossy or flat or whatever. But yeah, you should probably try to stick to one finish. All right. And so this um, this figure has a lot of matte finish. All right. So, but it looks great. Um, there is some shading. It kind of gets lighter around here, and then it gets darker at the edge here. Very nice paint. It even, yeah, it even gets a little darker on the edges here for the gray. Very nice. And then you can see some kind of panel lining. Everything, all the paint is within the lines. Very nice. I, I'll, I, I know you guys can't see it, but I'll take a look from the top. And yeah, you can look inside to the boot. Like her foot goes inside the boot. All right, it doesn't just you know disappear. Very nice. Let's go take a look at her legs. Okay. Um, yeah. So she's she's got uh, a lot. She's showing a lot of skin actually, <laughs> um, from the calf on up to her. Like she's wearing like a kind of like a shorts sort of. These they kind of poofy little shorts. They look kind of like like a little kids pants or something. <laughs> like something like a like an elementary school kid would be wearing or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, so there's the other boot. This one has a lot of, oh yeah, I didn't mention it. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, creases and folds and stuff in it. Very realistic, good molding. All right, yeah, right here I forgot to mention it. It's kind of weird, it, it kind of, um, bunches up a whole lot, but same as the other boot, it's a kind of gray and purple color shading. Very good. Looks nice, the skin looks great. It looks very smooth. Like I wanna, I wanna pet her. <laughs> you wanna pet that tail, right? <laughs> that bushy tail. It's got some good molding. It looks like you know the back of the knees and the knees. She's got some pretty slender legs. All right. You can see into the boot if you look very carefully. Let me turn the, the light on, and you guys can see. Okay. Just for a little bit. Okay. And then uh, let's move on up. Uh, the skin doesn't, uh, by the way, the skin doesn't really have any shading at all. Yeah, there's no shading on the skin. I'm surprised the boots have shading, but the, the skin doesn't. But the molding is good. It kind of, When the molding is good and you don't have shading, sometimes it creates the illusion that you have shading is what I want to say. 
Okay, let's go take a look at her pants or sh shorts in this case. <laughs> They're these kind of like a, a really kind of baggy kind of pants as there's like a bow in the middle here. Okay, they're they're like I don't know they're really they're really high too. Okay. Um, and yeah, there's a little bow here. There is shading on it. All right, it gets darker in the center and then lighter in the tips. Same thing with the bow. Very nicely painted. And there's like kind of white and kind of pink paint with the shading and everything. Okay. Lots of folds and ruffles in it. Very good molding. All right, yeah, and then there's some kind of uh, ruffles at the end here, all right. Very nice. Okay, and then you can see her tummy. Surprisingly, she's a, she's like a lolly werewolf, but she shows a lot of skin. <laughs> so let's say, okay. Um, yeah, she's got a very slender stomach. All right, yeah, she's got a very slender figure overall, so I'm going to say. And then you can see her belly button here. Okay, werewolves have be belly buttons. Okay. Uh, no no shading on the skin at all. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There's like no shading on the skin. But it would have been nice if they added just a teeny bit of shading. would have been nice. Okay, and I'm sorry about the... I guess the way the light hits it. There's like a shadow right here. So. Okay, let's take a look at her uh, her top outfit. All right, she's got that same kind of. It's very similar to the uh, the shorts or the pants underneath here for her top. Okay, she's a she's a flat chester. <laughs> okay, guys, she's a what what do they call it? Oh, she's a patanko. There you go. That's the court. That's the word I'm looking for. Patanko. Okay, and then uh, she's kind of got. She's kind of like wearing a jacket with long. It has like a long kind of back to it or sides. And they got little bows on it. It's very cute. <laughs> um, it's like a purple color with these kind of white and pink lines. All right, it's white with like pink shading on it, or it's pink with white shading. One of those. <laughs> Everything looks very straight in the lines. Very nice, man. A lot. They paid a lot attention to detail. Um, I don't remember what the other F next figure video that I did like how how it was but I have to say this one looks Perfect, it's like perfection. There's nothing wrong with this and and the quality is just really good. The paint is really good quality guys Yeah, like I said, it's a matte finish Same on the other side here Everything is all nice and straight. You got these little pink bows with white shading very nice. And now you get all these kind of um, ruffles and folds and stuff here. So the sleeves are kind of like the same material as the, the pants, the shorts, and the, the under, like undergarment, <laughs> I guess. Is it? Yeah. So it's kind of like a, she's wearing this whole top right here. All right. The whole top is the same. This is this kind of light pink stuff. All right. And then, and then she's kind of just like wearing a jacket over it. Like a strange jacket that's like really has a really long tails on the back, <laughs> coat tails or something. All right, um, and then there's like a pink bow in the front here. She has so many bows on her bow, yeah, lots of bows and stuff. Just a very, uh, very girly uh, character as well. Let's say, okay. Um, and then she's got she has a little bell on her neck. Okay. And then there's the sleeves for the outfit. It's these kind of like baggy, puffy kind of sleeves, just like the, the pants, all right, or the shorts. And it's got some roughly stuff at the end. That light pink color with the white shading. Very nice. Okay, and then you can see the strap for the bell around her neck. It's like black. Okay, let's take a look at that, that, kind, of, that kind of pose before we take a look at her head. So it's kind of that one of that uh, uh, master or uh, what's it, Araji, <laughs> come and come and hug me type of thing or I'm gonna or yeah she's uh she's welcoming welcoming her master home from a, a days of work type of thing. <laughs> she's she's such a cutie man. You gotta you have if you haven't watched this anime, you have to. <laughs> that this the main reason I watch it because she's so cute. Okay. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Let's talk about. Let's talk about that. Let's look at the tail. So yeah, we're we're kind of working our way down to up, right? So we we 
we didn't talk about the tail yet. There's her big bushy tail. That's one of the the big characteristics about Noella is she has this big bushy tail. And everyone loves to pet it. It's very uh, mofu mofu. <laughs> so we'll say. All right. It's huge. The tail is huge. It's literally most of the figure is the tail. All right. It's it's so it's a white color with kind of like purple shading on it. Yeah. You can see the lines going down and everything. The molding looks great. It kind of swooshes this way a little bit. It's like she's running. She's kind of running forward or jumping forward. So like the tail is kind of going back a little bit. All right. And then the tail is just kind of between her legs, sort of, kind of. Very nice. They recreated Noella's tail beautifully. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's take a look at her face. It's like a Okarina Sai Goshijin Sama. <laughs> I think she calls him Araji, right? Like, a, like that's like a master. Yeah, like a master. It's kind of, kind of like master, but not like a Goshijin Sama. <laughs> that's like what a maid would say, right? Um. Okay, so we're going to take a look at her face. Oh, she's such a big, happy, open, open mouth face here. She's got like a big uh, pink mouth. She's got a little, the little fang sticking out here. All right, let's zoom in a little bit more. <laughs> she's so cute. Her, she's, her head is so big and round is what I'm going to say. And then she's got kind of blue eyes. She's kind of like cross-eyed a little bit. Yeah, she's got these big blue eyes and the big open mouth. She's... Um, she's blushing a little bit. All right, your her cheeks are a little bit pink. Very nice. Okay, and then let's look at their her hair. So another thing about this figure, she or another thing about Noella is she has very long, beautiful hair. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, a kind of it's the same color as the tail. It's like a gray and white with white shading. All right, there's not too much shading on the front. All right, but she's got this one kind of long kind of bang here and there's two bangs over here so it doesn't cover her eyeballs she's got um flowers in her hair all right pink flowers that's like a yellow what's the, the center part of the flower i forget what it's called and then there's a little kind of leaves for the flowers okay and then she has her her ears those wolf ears they're really bushy wolf ears they've got this this bushy stuff in there Kind of like the cat, cat girls got, got that also. Right, there it is. Same with the other side. They're huge. They're really big ears. <laughs> Part of her head. Okay. And then, yeah, there's her beautiful hair. So it's like she's kind of jumping up and then like, there's like kind of like a wave forming in her hair. It's, it's very cool. It's a like kind of dynamic figure. Okay. Not too much shading in the hair. Yeah, there's not shade. There's not that much shading in the in the the tail and the hair all that much. It, there is, it gets a little bit darker here. A little bit. There might be a little bit of shading, but it's very subtle shading. Here, it looks like they just kind of attached the piece of the the hair here. It doesn't look very good. So that's one thing uh, I have to note right there. That's the only that's the only thing I could look at that like you know looks kind of meh. You know. But it, the way it comes out, the hair, it looks pretty good, all right? The rest of it is pretty good. But here, it's kind of kind of wavy and stuff. The molding's not very good. doesn't look like it's stuck on there very well. Like, they should have might as well just taken that whole thing out. <laughs> so, in my opinion, it would have looked better. There's a little scratch here. That might have been my fault. Okay, and then, the, yeah, there's a little um, kind of... Some kind of lines. Very nice. So much hair... And so much mofu mofu. That's <laughs> what's there, all right? Okay, yeah, and there it is. Ocarina Sai. <laughs> Araji. <laughs> I could just imagine her saying that, all right? There she is, uh, Noella from Drugstore in Another World. All right, I I am really blown away by this figure. Uh, is this figure worth like a hundred something dollars, hundred fifteen dollars? Yes, I would not hesitate. To buy this figure for that much money all right it is worth that much all right she's so cute and um and yeah she's got she's got the big big head and the big face and a little kid's body as we'll say and the big bushy tail and and hair as we'll say 
Um, I, I believe she's the first, I think she's the only werewolf girl that I have, all right? Yeah, she's the only werewolf girl that I have, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> and I'm glad I bought her, all right? Um, so I think you could still get her, uh, like I said, you can get her on Amazon for like 115 bucks. I just checked, so... Uh, I saw that you can get her for like, you can probably get her used for like 80 bucks. So if, if you could definitely, if you can get her for that much money, I would definitely pick her up. All right. If you want a cute werewolf girl, or if you're a big fan of the uh, drugstore in another world, anime and manga, uh, light, I don't, I don't know if it was came from a manga or light novel. I'm not sure, but I think it came from a light novel. Yeah. Um, there she is and to, uh, as far as I know, I think this is the only figure of Noella there is all right and um, FNX really uh, Knocked it out of the park all right or food you food you really knocked it out of the park with this figure All all matte finish all right and lots of shading lots of shading except for the skin which is kind of funny All right. Oh, yeah, you know one thing we forgot to take a look at is her, her hands does she have a kind of nail polish? Yeah, she does. It's kind of like a kind of Larry Light pink kind of nail color. That's what I'm going to say. But yeah, it is it's a beautiful figure. All right, guys. So definitely if you can find her and you, you want a werewolf girl, here here you go, Noella. <laughs> okay. So just the most adorable werewolf girl ever. So another thing say. I liked about Noella is she's like kind of like the comic relief in the show. She's uh, she. A, a lot of funny stuff involves Noella. <laughs> so I say, yeah, she does a lot. She she gets into a lot of mischief, is what I'm gonna say. So yeah, that's another reason I kind of like her. <laughs> She's the comic relief in the show, and she'll say, uh, "Was it?" Uh, she goes, "Roo, roo," <laughs> or "woof." <laughs> I, I think it's they translate it as "woof," but uh, but she says "roo" a whole lot, a lot, <laughs> all the time. Yeah, that's that's like her, like you know, that's what she's known for. She just says all the time <laughs> okay thanks for watching i'll get some close-ups and 360s that's the end of the show and tell um i will see if i have any other fnx figures i i'm pretty sure i have um and i will put them at links to them at the end of the video if you want to check out what else other stuff fnx stuff i got okay like i said for is known for more for their like prize figures but they've been doing some like really high-end scale figures and this is one of them, all right? Also, she's very big, all right? So um, she's like a 1.7 scale. That's like almost looks like a 1.6 scale, but she's such a small character. Yeah, she's a, she's a little girl. So um, it, having a bigger scale, you know, makes doesn't necessarily mean she's going to be really big. The base is really big, though. So I don't know if I'm going to keep her in the box. She, she does make a good box figure. Um, I, I would like to keep her somewhere, but I don't have any more space, man. So I think we're just going to have to keep her in the box. The box is nice, too. I would definitely keep her in the box, okay? it's And I like that they have the box art and the and a photo of the figure on it. Um, they really... I'm really, really happy with this figure, okay? So really impressed. Good job, you Okay, thanks for watching. Here's my go.